TLO, what's poppin'? We are on Twitch, we are not live. Particularly with like, comment, subscribe. Turn on your post notification bells, man. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. Um, if we do happen to go live and you miss it, and we got some highlights and things of that nature, they'll be on this channel right here. Uh, don't forget, we do got the Patreon. This list is not up to date. We've started, we've done several movies since this list. Um, Fresh Meat is about to start this week because This Is England just ended. So, yeah, man, we got, you know, we got motion. Uh, don't forget, we do got the Discord as well. Link to all of this is down in the description. Click that link tree list, the link tree list. That's where all of this is and some stuff, you know. Some other stuff as well. Um, let's get into this, man. Finding the best full English breakfast in London. Now, as y'all know, I, I try UK food on TikTok, and I recently found that marketplace. I don't know if y'all know, I got real motion on TikTok. Like, it's just tough over there. <laughs> um, anyway... I feel like I found several restaurants that serve this in Florida. I'm going to eventually be giving it a chance. Um, yeah, so let's let's just, I just want to get a picture in my mind of what it should look like. So when I pull up, you feel me? It better look like this. This is insider food. Well, I've invited my friend Joe Avella over from the US to teach him how we do things slightly differently over here. We'll be visiting the best rated full English spot, the expert's pick, and a wild card, all in one day, to see if we can find London's best full English breakfast. This is Food Tours. Okay. Our first stop of the day, Terry's. All right, we went out drinking last night. We did. It's seven in the morning, you dragged me down here. What are we doing? Really early. Well, I think the perfect way to experience a full English breakfast is when you're slightly hungover, and that's what we're gonna do. We're at Terry's Cafe, it's in South London. And we um, I am drinking a cuppa. Some of y'all not gonna like this cup, but it is what it is. You gonna try the full English? What I'm used to doing after a night of drinking is a McGriddle, vitamin water, Real Housewives. Ooh, nice. <laughs> so, that's right. No cap. No, McDonald's breakfast after a full late day of drinking, it's gonna hit. And y'all don't even know what a McGriddle is out there, so I don't know why the host is talking about some nice. Um, y'all don't have McGriddles out there. But he's now housewife. I can't speak about that, but the other stuff, yes. Yeah. <laughs> this is definitely it's definitely a change of pace for me, but I'm willing to try it. I'm so beat. It's so <sighs> early. It's oh, you are. hey, why don't you take out your phone? And you you watching at home. <laughs> Go ahead. Everyone can look at it. We can order along. Hold on. No, because he right. He right. This is my opportunity. It's not working. Your okay. phone. And you, you want... Here we go. It worked. It worked, y'all. It worked. Hold on. Archive, hold on, this is dope. I ain't never felt this. Hold on, two oat nog, what is that? Happy hour? Elderflower, Loke Collins, two espresso martini, that's that's too much for me. Cocktails? I honestly wouldn't even expect this place where they had to serve liquor. But again, it is London. Drinks, cappuccino, latte, flat white, Americano, latte, syrups. Y'all got syrups? Terry's teas, okay. Smoothies, okay. Lunch, okay. The works. Cumberland sausage, free range egg, bacon, all day breakfast, free range eggs. Bangers and mash they got. Two hands, okay. Corned beef and egg. Where is the... um? Maybe I passed it. Maybe they don't serve this breakfast no more. Mm, all day breakfast. Oh, all day breakfast. It's all day breakfast. Free range egg, bacon, Cumberland sausage, chunky chip, and baked beans. I'm going to assume that's what it is. Or the works. It's the works. 
So y'all don't even call it an English breakfast. Y'all call it something that makes sense. Like, that makes sense that it's called the works and not a full English breakfast. That would be stupid. That would be that would be stupid. I guess I ain't even think about it. Anyway, my bad. I done got sidetracked. Watching at home. <laughs> Go ahead. Everyone can look at the menu. Order along. <laughs> I need a cup of tea, first and foremost. Another crucial part of the hangover cure. Uh, do you want tea? Is tea part of the experience? I would say so. Fine. <sighs> well, I gotta say, I dig the vibe of this uh, cafe. Old stuff on the walls, but to be honest, everything here is old. <laughs> right? <laughs> I mean, this, I'm gonna guess it's been here for 200 years. Is that a good, a fair assessment? Oh my god. Salutable offenses, though. Damn, I can even skip. Eight. Look at that little marijuana. Did you say 1982? Yeah. They put loads. 82. Oh. This is the original Peaky Blinders on the wall. That's tough. Did you say 1982? Yeah. I'm older than this place. So there's a few different fry up options we could try. Um, I think the one we probably want is the works. <laughs> the works. The works. The works. The Burris special. Mm -hmm. The blowout. The Hamlet. I don't know what the blowout is. <laughs> we'll skip the blowout. Once you get those beans going. <laughs> oh no, we got beans for breakfast? It's, it's beans, oh, I man. forgot about that. It's a beans oh. episode. Hell yeah. Ooh, I'm getting excited. Hungry? Yeah. The first one of the day is always amazing. Yeah. yeah. Not that we'd normally be eating more than one in a day, but such is the life of you know, YouTube. You know, the, the average uh, UK gentleman has three breakfasts every morning. It's like a hobbit. Yeah. Oh. Sausage, grilled tomatoes. I've never had a grilled tomato. I've never had hash browns this thick. Never had bacon this thick. Never ever have I had pig's blood. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I feel like that could be, ah. Oh, Thank yes. you. Yes. Uh, what kind of tea is this? English breakfast. If you ask for just a tea yeah. in a British cafe, you're getting English breakfast tea. Yeah, it's not bad. But you always gotta do with milk? Again, like it's, it's a taste preference thing. Some people have really milky tea. Some people have a tiny bit. I used to have really milky tea. And then I went to uni and I made a cup of tea in front of my housemate. Yep. And he was like, yep. you put so much milk in yep. that. So I had to then adjust my taste to yeah. stop myself getting bullied by my friends. Shame <laughs> can be a powerful tool. I can think of so many habits I dropped that were like core habits to me that just one time. Oh, that's how you make a fried egg? You literally put it, drop it in oil? I didn't know that. And one of your homies is like, what are you doing? And you're like, well, never doing that again. <laughs> We Sauces? Have. Oh, yeah. Oh, English, English mm. mustard, the la di da. Uh, brown. English mustard, that, that's what y'all been telling me about. It's also ketchup with the classics for a breakfast sauce. Well, in the that bacon not done. I'm sorry. I can't do it. It looked too chewy for me. I need to, like, I need a little more crisp on mine. You US, I put ketchup and hot sauce on my breakfast food. I'd say, like, hot sauce on breakfast is not a thing here. Tabasco, you have Tabasco out here? We where? You do have Tabasco, yeah. yeah it's just like, sauce. you just would never find it in a place like this. Is this something you do with the family on a Sunday? Is this like, or is this more like, you do it on your own or you do it with like uh, one person? Uh, I don't think I'd get a full English on my own unless I was like super hungover and needed it to survive. More of like a social activity, I think. Oh, 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 oh. Look at this. Are you kidding? They got stewed tomatoes and grilled tomatoes. Thank you so very Thank much. Thank you very it's much. Delicious. Look at these. Oh my God. I right, get these shots, bro, because I'm about to eat. The works. Uh, oh, I'm in a way. I read it. The works. 1450 pounds or 1738 in America. Cumberland sausage. I already read this. Some of this sausage. Egg, bacon, bubble, and squeak. Oh, that's bubble and squeak? So that's not hash brown. That's bubble and squeak. Okay. Uh, black pudding, black beans, I mean baked beans, grilled, or tin tomatoes. They got both. And mushrooms. Oh, he got grilled and the other guy got tinned. Okay. What I'm most surprised by is how it's just an egg. Like the U.S., it, the plate is all egg and potato. Well, because of breakfast, we're obsessed with eggs. Sure. Like it's, a, it's, it's eggs everything. The thing about a full English is it's highly customizable. Yeah. You can swap out things. It's pretty common yeah. to substitute stuff. If you don't like tomatoes, for example, you could be like, no tomatoes, can you replace that with Oh, yours were canned. So yeah, I these see. were the canned tomatoes and you've got a grilled tomato. Oh yeah. I'm not even gonna lie, I would go with the grilled. I mean, it's the canned. If you didn't think we had enough food, 
Perfect. Yeah, awesome. Thank, Thank you. you. Awesome. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I'm liking the look of that toast. Yeah. I'm liking the look of that toast, my man. Great for the sausage. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The banger. <laughs> How is it? It's good. It's good. You haven't been overly impressed with British sausages so far. I think, I think that might have been uh, the fast food sausage. This sausage is much better. Okay, good. I like how he did that. I like how bro building it. So it's black pudding. In America, we would call this ham, but y'all call it bacon. But So I'm going to go with y'all bacon. And then he put beans. Because I, I feel like me biting a piece of black pudding by itself, like I might throw up. Like, honestly. The fast food sausage. This sausage is much better. Okay, guess. Black pudding? Mm hmm. Yeah, I'm into it. It doesn't taste, you wouldn't be like, oh, this is blood, right? Yeah, no, not at all. It tastes more like, um, it has like the spices in it. Mm -hmm. Almost like more like has like the oats or whatever that's in there. Yeah. Fried tomatoes. Oh, there's oats in there too. Okay. Like oatmeal, it's like oatmeal pig blood. Right? Tomato. Yeah, so what do you think that is? I thought it was just hash browns in a block. So this is bubble and squeak. Yeah. This is a really traditional English dish. Generally, it was like made from the leftovers of the night before's dinner. Traditionally, it's just like potato and cabbage. It makes a kind of bubbly and also sometimes squeaky sound on the grill. So, bubble and squeak was born. Cooking can be a chance. I feel like y'all just be naming stuff out there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Bubble and squeak, bangers and mash. This, fantastic. I do wish though that fried tomato would make more of an appearance on uh, American breakfast plates. It is one of the things that like kind of excites me about having an English breakfast. Okay, you know what? I would try fried tomatoes, not canned. You, you convince me. I think about it, my stomach. Oh yeah, fried tomatoes it's gonna be really good. Right? Yeah. yeah. Do you want to try any of my canned tomatoes? Yeah, yeah. So how did how did these get uh, made? Uh, it's basically just like they still fried them. Canned plum tomatoes, at least heated and kind of cooked in a more like a, a pot. See that also? Yeah, it was good. It yeah. Also has the tomato weenus. Mm-hmm. So like. Why have the beans? Sorry, bean lovers, I'm just not, I'm just not impressed. I am. See, everything else has the flavor of like, yes, and the beans are like, eh, beans. I am a, I'm a bean defender. <laughs> I'll defend the beans. In a way, this kind of fulfills the role of like a ketchup or a sauce for me. Yeah. If I have beans on my filling English, I'm unlikely to then need the ketchup. Uh-oh. Mm -hmm. I just took a piece of toast, mm -hmm. and put the beans on it, and I ate it, mm -hmm. and it was really good. There we go. I'm afraid, I'm afraid I'm going to start eating beans and toast for breakfast. That was a huge win for Britain. I don't know. Right Are now. we doing like a specific beans and toast thing? Maybe like sometime in the next place is let's make a point for me to go load up on, on specifically beans and toast. Go full beans and toast. Because I, I just was like stopping stuff around and I just was there like, I'll try that. And then I would hit the mouth. I was like, yeah, that's the point of them. I understand the beans. Plus, I like beans. So it's, I like those specific. Baked beans are one of my favorite at the cookout. But the way y'all do them is cool too. Wait, <laughs> that actually kind of rules. <laughs> this is massive. <laughs> like, like, <laughs> I didn't think it was gonna taste that good. But it was like no. really good. I'm just assembling like a perfect toast bite what over here on doing? the side. Yeah. All right. If you're like me, watching at home, you're eagerly anticipating how this is gonna turn out. Let's all get grossed out. That's not gross. That look good. We build stuff in the hood. We like to combine it all on a piece of bread, right? You feel me? That's exactly how I thought that would go. <laughs> So how was it? Mm -hmm. Good? Amazing. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. So you know, Joe, that is not how most people eat that right now. Yeah, I'm assuming that. <laughs> so how long after you start dating someone mm -hmm. do you show them the Harry Kirsch English breakfast giant bites? Um, do it on the first date. Yeah. Just all the cards on the table. If first, you can't, if first, you... first day. Hey, we're really getting along on uh, this app. You want to meet? You want to go on a date? Yeah. What, how do you feel about English breakfast? <laughs> you meet me here at six in the morning on a Tuesday. <laughs> Uh, yes, I am. <laughs> hey, <laughs> so ladies! So it's, it's working, clearly. All right. We're doing a lot of English breakfast today. Like, where do you think this lands as far as, like, traditional English breakfast? If you wanted, like, a very classic full English experience, but done well, this yeah. is a really good place to start. Yeah, yeah, I'm very impressed with this. Terry knows his breakfast. It honestly doesn't look hard to make. The fried egg looked the most difficult to me personally. You know what I'm saying? Because, I, you know, I'm not good at that type of thing. But the beans, as far as the beans, the searing of a tomato, not difficult. The sausage, not difficult. And ever since I found that marketplace, it's like they have everything I need there. 
But it's just super expensive, so don't forget to, you know, donate to the GoFundMe so I can purchase these things. Uh, link tree in the description. This is Borough Market. Uh, it's one of London's best food markets. Yeah. We're in South London again. Uh, Maria's actually has been around since like the 60s, I Yo. think. Not always in this location. They did have like an actual... The wild card. You know what it is to me? I feel like everything else is going to be uniform in here. Like everything else is going to be like boom, 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 boom. It's going to taste exactly the same. But what's going to make the difference is the mushrooms. The mushrooms. And he, they didn't talk about the mushrooms at the last spot. Like, like I like mushrooms. Saute mushrooms, but like, it can't be like bogus though. Like the last place looked like they had some decent mushrooms. Chill cafe. I think it's a cool spot to eat an English breakfast in. Borough yeah. Market's great. A lot of tourists are going to be coming here anyway. Yeah. So while you're here, you've got a nice English breakfast. Funny little quirk about me. I hate eating outdoors. Me too. We had some black pudding at Terry's. We're going to have it again here. Uh, it's actually got a really kind of rich and interesting history. It's one of the oldest forms of sausage. There are references to it from Homer in the 800 Simpson. BC. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, unfortunately, the Greek one, not, yeah. The, uh, not the Simpson. Gotcha. It's been like a really controversial thing in the UK for really? a long time. Uh, there was a book written in 1652. What's it called? Uh, the Trial of Black Pudding. People in the church were claiming that eating foods made of blood was like a sin on the same level as adultery. Which seems a little extreme. That's, that's a lot. I mean, adultery is a commandment. Yes, that's that's one of the big ten. I don't think eating blood sausage was in there as well. You think well. it would have been eleven? Maybe. Maybe it just got cut. Didn't quite make it in. Sir Isaac Newton was being pulled into this debate. He abstained from it. See, for my first English breakfast, though, I would want to just have like regular hash browns. I wouldn't want to have this squeaking, the squeaking thing, because I want. I feel like that's a whole different experience. Just give me regular hash browns, gang. People kind of assumed it was for religious reasons, yeah. but then apparently when he died, someone just... You see how they made their eggs different? You see how they didn't submerge them in oil, but they just put them on a flat top and just, you know what I'm saying? I guess you could do it multiple ways. I would probably like the flat top one better because it's less greasy. He abstained from it. People kind of... And I like how they cut their sausages in half. So you could like thoroughly cook through, like, you know what I'm saying? Or, or, or it's all hot. I like that better. It's just more familiar to me. It was for religious reasons. Yeah. But then apparently when he died, someone just basically exposed it. A little it. burnt on it. A little burnt. Okay, this one not cut all the way through, but I like this color of it though. And then said that he didn't like it. All right, we'll dedicate this meal to the memory of Sir Isaac Newton. <laughs> Man. And it's all about presentation for me. The presentation at the second place looks like the plate Aesthetically, the plate looks better thus far. And S I N. Oh, Sir Isaac Newton. S I N. S I N. Sin. There's a connection there between that and adultery. Some like Da Vinci Code stuff going on here. I don't like it. Should we just yeah. eat the breakfast? Thank you. Look at that. Yo, thank you. Yeah, yeah. The plate looks good. Thanks so much. Cheers. It's looking a bit familiar. Yeah. It's looking a bit like the last one, which I'm fine with it. Composition-wise, pretty similar. Slightly yeah, smaller. Yeah, 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 yeah. This oh. looks in. Oh, man. I don't know if I like the... To Where did they cook these at? Same price? Hold on, can I see like this? The tomatoes were on the grill, too. I mean, not the tomatoes, the... um. I don't like how... They look slimy, the mushrooms. Mmm. It does look like a smaller portion though. So like if we talking like bang for my buck, I would go to the other place, but like aesthetically this looks nice. Except for the slimy mushrooms. Incredible. Is it always over easy? This is over easy. Is that over easy? That's yeah, over easy is you go in almost sunny side up, but you flip it towards the end. We have no concept of like sunny side up, over easy, any of that stuff. You ask for a fried egg or scrambled eggs. Where do you know, want to start? They claim to have the, uh, the best bubble in London. This right we, here, we, huh? We can be the judges of that. Okay, well, so I'll, I'll, I'll have a little bubble to start off. Ooh, this is it's crispier on the outside, this one. Oh, this is bubbles and squeaks, too? Real nice layer of crisp. That is really good. It's buttery. Right? Ooh. Mm-hmm. Meet Kiana, Shiori, and Karthik. Just a few... Thanks. I'm from Chicago. I don't really like to meet new people. No offense. But it's again, UK. It's again, guys. You saying the UK don't salt their food? 
Breaking news, the UK doesn't salt their food. That's tough. Well, I guess, you know, good for low blood pressure. That's pretty, that was better than the last bubble. Yep. It's very crispy on the outside as well. So yeah, I like crispy, uh, like hash. This is just amazing. Yeah. That's a, like, surely you see how that sausage tastes different than the last one we had. That's pretty close to an American sausage. Very meaty sausage, not a lot of filler in there. They've also grilled this on what I think is like quite a high temperature because you have like a real crust on the outside. Yeah, 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 I didn't notice That's it. That's how Americans like that crust. They like, they like crusty, like more cooked. Or at least Chicagoans, we like more, like, we like more color in our sausage. I be seeing a lot of like gray sausages when I be looking. I be like, no, I need my stuff brown. Like, <laughs> that which I like. All right. Pretty good one up. A bit more of the black pudding. Okay. <laughs> oh, that is really good. Mm hmm. I mean, do we even know like, like this. what the blood element is? It is or just usually pork, usually like pork, pork blood, pig blood. Yeah, you know, it's not human blood. What yeah. I'm saying is like, at what point? When's the because there's nothing, there's no fluid in here. Like, are they like no. soaking everything in blood? Does add a little blood to it? Kind of, kind of like you know how when you cook oatmeal and milk, it kind of absorbs it all. Similar, similar. Do that blood? Similar deal to that, but with blood. Yo, yeah. does Dracula know about this pudding? I don't know. And I have to say, they are correct. These uh. This potatoes, AKA bubble, mm. is very good. Okay. So we've had bubble and squeak at the two places so far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I said, bubble and squeak is like a very traditional thing in the UK, but kind of like also a dying breed. So what you'll often find nowadays is places which serve chips, yeah. like fries, fries yes, with it. their breakfasts, which is quite controversial. Some really? more traditional Brits don't like that. Nah, man, I want the traditional feel, you feel me? I'll, give me straight, give me straight uh, hash brown. I don't want chips with my breakfast. I'm good on that. I, you know what, I, I agree with that. If I got a breakfast at, a, at any diner and, and, and potatoes, they gave me fries, I'd be like, I can have fries literally the rest of the day. And the other option is, of course, hash browns. This is like the American influence on the, uh, the full English breakfast. We're moving in, we're are moving you, in. Are you happy with next how? We're, next, we're gonna have the, uh, the, the crispy bacon. Uh, instead of tomatoes, it's gonna be monster energy drink. <laughs> more, 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 more oil, more savory. I get why you'd want that, but. I like the bubble and pop. What's it called? <laughs> bubble, bubble and pop. And pop. Uh, uh, and squeak. Bubble and pop is nice though. Yeah. I'm gonna offer some uh, criticism of this one. Well, go. Well. They haven't cooked the mushrooms enough. When you don't cook mushrooms for long enough. Bro, that's what I said. They too, they too, they're too, they don't look good. The mushrooms don't look appetizing to me. They look slimy. Or at high enough temperature, they do go a bit slimy. But All right, I'm, I'm not crazy go. about these. I said I was gonna do it, I'm doing it. It's a there pizza and toast, which seems like the maddest thing to have at mm -hmm. for breakfast. See, these beans are a little bit sweeter. And that's like what like what I don't like about the, the thought of having beans in the morning. I don't know if I'd go through all the effort in the morning to open a can of beans, heat it up, make the toast, and like put it all together. I love the notion of all the effort of heating up some beans and making toast. <laughs> Two of like the easiest things to do. You want a toaster in a microwave. You gotta microwave, plug the fine. toaster in, you gotta put the bread in, you gotta push it down, wait, and then the can of, yeah. So what do you do for beans on toast? Like you eat all, you're not eating the whole can, so what do you do with the rest of it? If I were making myself beans on toast, I'd probably use half okay. a can. So yeah. you're going through, on average, three to three and a half cans of beans a week. Me personally, no. That sounds about right. I'm not even gonna lie. Like the way y'all be expressing y'all love for beans and toast for me, like y'all have to go at least three loaves of bread a week and at least like four cans, four cans of uh, beans, minimum. And we're not even gonna start with the amount of tea y'all drink. <laughs> I don't eat beans on toast every That's day. Like a lot of beans. It is. I really like this bacon. I do. It is really bacon. good flavor on this. It also has that that sear on it. The mm -hmm. way it's cooked. That like uh, burnt. See air. what I'm saying? Like so to us, like this was y'all bacon looked like ham. You know what I'm saying? It looked like ham. And I don't really eat too much pork like that, but like I wouldn't mind, I, not because of any religious reasons or anything of that nature, but I, I, I personally just don't like the taste of it. But if I am gonna eat it, I need a sear, just like the sausage. I need that sear on the, like that crust on the outside, you feel me? Area, that like enhances the flavor. Yes. I really like it. So yeah, are you starting to see like why this is such a big part of our British culture? <laughs> I mean, the, the, the blood pudding thing was weird. Yeah. 
Am I missing something? <laughs> just the, the fried the fried breakfast in general is it dates back to like the 14th century in okay. the UK. Yeah, when and frying it, was invented. When frying was invented, they first found out how to actually add flavour to food. Yeah, wow. it, was, it was it was a big deal. Apparently, at one point in the 50s, about 50% of Britons would start their day with a full English breakfast. Uh, so this Joe is a uh, a bacon bap. I feel like <clears throat> for me, I like personally, I would like to know how many calories. Hold on. Hey Siri, <clears throat> how many calories is in a full English breakfast? Eight hundred and ninety-five. Like you would have to eat a full. <laughs> you have you start your day with a full English breakfast. You start your know, day with a nine hundred calorie meal. You would have to go to the gym right after. Like, okay, if I start my day with a full English breakfast, I'm going to the gym. Like, that's motivation to go to the gym. That's energy for the gym. And then I'm going to go to the gym, hopefully burn a thousand calories. And then, you know what I'm saying, continue with the rest of my day. But 900 calories for breakfast is crazy. This is the bacon bap. Bacon bap. Uh, could also be called a bacon butty, a bacon sandwich, bacon roll. Uh, it is pretty much what it says on the tin. It's bacon, it's a bacon roll. sandwich, buttered roll. Do you this think bacon wouldn't fly because it'd be too... Mm. they like chewy. Yeah. Bacon sarny. Yeah, people would just rather just get ham with it. Sure. Because they could play through it easier. Ham, egg and cheese. Yeah. That makes sense. I'd say the notion of uh, putting cheese on a breakfast sandwich is kind of American. Yeah, so, I mean, like cheese is on all breakfast sandwiches, it really? feels like. I've been told by the producer not to eat it because he wants it. Are you going to do that? Oh, you want to pour some beans? You want to scoop some beans? Brown sauce, please. Brown sauce, interesting. <laughs> oh, get this. Oh, I filmed this. Oh, yeah, bro is a professional. He didn't put the hash browns on there. He put the HP uh, brown sauce, House of Parliament brown sauce, or Daddy's brown sauce, Paul's. Uh, That's the Leon. The Leon special. One Leon, please. That's a, he's, he's not messed about with the brown sauce either. Cheers, guys. Follow, Cheers, man. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I've seen this guy before on TikTok. He does TikToks. I followed him yesterday. Is I'm thinking about the right person? Yeah, how'd you do? So this was really good. I mean, yeah. so far one and two have been a tight race. I've been very happy with all these. Yeah, yeah no one more. We're gonna head east okay. to a place called Ipalici. 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 Let's go. Let's go. I'm telling you, the mushrooms are gonna be decisive in this. The mushrooms are gonna play a real role. Our next stop is probably the most traditional English breakfast you can find, but it might be a bit of a culture shock for Joe. I'm gonna start back up. I'm gonna go all the way in. Is that okay? That's yeah, that's great. Okay. Oh, oh, uh, a few minutes, take your time. A couple of minutes, thank you. Do you want some drinks to get you started? Yeah, coffee. Uh, Lovely, what sort of coffee? Like an Americano, just a black coffee? Yeah, yeah, black coffee. Uh, a cup of tea, please. Lovely. Thank you. Uh, thank you for- Yeah, see, this is where I would wanna go. Ipolici. Let me just go to the most traditional, where people talk like, the, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to be, you know, I want it to feel like I'm here. Taking me to this final place. You're so welcome. It's a bit packed. Yeah, it's, it's pretty crazy It's louder than I thought it would be. Yeah. Uh, it looks nice and it's Italian, which I'm excited about. Right. Uh, well, why are we here? Well, so this is Ipolici, and this is one of the most traditional English breakfasts you'll find in London. Yeah. It's owned by an Italian family okay. who came here, I think, in like 1900. So this place has barely changed for like 120 years, yeah. and you can kind of tell that. Like, looking around at the decor, yeah. also the vibe in here is just great. Like, everyone knows everybody. Yeah. It's really friendly. The owners are kind of switching between fluent Italian and like Cockney East London accents. I've noticed that. Which so I can't understand experience. them twice. This is, this is, I'm really stressed out. Okay. <laughs> uh, I do have to say, remember the last place? I was like, oh man, this environment's really unsettling because yes. we're outside and stuff. You see what I'm saying? Look at this color on here. Look at the color on the sausage. So I know the color is going to be there on the ham. And this is the hash browns that I would like. I want to try these. I understand bubbles and squeaks is like, you know what I'm saying? But I feel like I said, like I said, it's a different experience. I want to experience it separately. You know what I'm saying? This is 10 times worse. <laughs> hey, bread. thank you. Thanks, buddy. Fried bread is something I never had either. Yeah, you're good. Are you ready? Uh, we are, are you? I'm, I'm always ready. ready. I'm always ready. How you doing, Nephew? Right? Good, you all right? Yeah, very well. See you. What are we going to go for, lads? Two of the have the lots, please. Yeah, good choice. You're going to go for toast or fried bread? Definitely fried bread. Yeah. 
Yeah, Absolutely progress. I don't progress. have to say no more. No, Perfect. And no you like dress. everything on there or do you want to change yes. anything? Everything as it is. Now I can't Easy. easy. <laughs> you know what I'm going to do? Because you've never had my mum's hand cut chips. I'm going to give you a little break of my mum's hand cut chips. I would love some of those. Thanks, Mel. I appreciate it. Awesome. You see what I'm saying? Look at their mushrooms. Look good. Look good. Not slimy at all. The, the, the fried bread, I've never had it. It looks amazing. Wow. Oh, amazing fried. Like it? I think it's funny, like our knees are almost touching. Like, well, very nice colored sausage. Um, the bacon has a nice little, you know what I'm saying, brown on it. We've, we've ended all of these with like a romantic vibe, you know? As candle oh, at dinner, we're like basically touching here. Oh yeah, look at the presentation. Look at the presentation. This is tops already for me. Oh, they give you bangers and I mean they give you regular hash and they give you um bubbles and squeak. I feel like I know too much now about England. Like <laughs> you say we're getting fried bread? Yes. Oh yes. Oh yeah we are. Oh, oh look at this. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> yeah, this this looks like it's worth whatever if it's the same price. I'm getting, I'm getting, I'm getting, this is good money spent. You know what I'm saying? This is good money spent. Um, I'm dead. Thank you so I'm much. Dead. I'm dead. It's cheaper. It's cheaper. Same type of sausage. You get bubbles and squeak and hash brown. This is insane. This looks insane. It's I don't know, where do you want to, where are you starting? I don't really know where to start, man. I want to try the fried bread. It yeah. does, it's exactly as it's described, it's bread that they just fry in oil. How is it? We made a version of this called Texas Toast. Okay. But this is much better because they actually fried it in the oil. Yeah. Yeah. The trick is to cook it without making it too oily, which is like, obviously sounds very difficult, but you don't want oil like dripping off of it. And honestly, like, it hasn't left residue on the plate. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, I've heard some fried bread that looks like it's difficult to bite. That still looks soft and fluffy at the same time crispy. Oh my God, under the beans is the bacon. <laughs> more, more bacon <laughs> under the beans. <laughs> Look at this. Did they for you too? Yeah. Oh, they give us yeah. a lot of bacon. Oh bro. man, this is a serious, this is a serious <laughs> breakfast. Mm -hmm. That's incredible. Yeah. Beans, beans and fried bread is, uh, that's, that's British culture right there. <laughs> Matter of fact, it may be deemed quintessentially British. <laughs> the bacon is uh, maybe like crispier than some of the ones that we've had so far. Seems like a something that I want, crispy bacon. It's thinner, it's gonna grill longer. More like American bacon, perhaps? Uh, a little bit closer, but not so much. Almost there. Let's try the black pudding. I'm trying to try, try kind of everything on its own and then just start combining stuff. Ooh, Ooh yeah. That goes good. Flavorful, lovely texture on that. Yeah. Also, so, you know what I was saying? earlier about mushrooms. What's the perfect amount of time to cook a black pudding on each side? Not total, on each side. You get what I'm saying? And how they can be like a bit slimy. These have definitely been cooked for longer. See like, you got that nice kind of like crispier texture on the outside. How do they cook the black pudding? Do they cut it out of a, like a thing and just like throw it in the grill and the It comes in the form of like a sausage, like yeah. a log. So you cut a slice and then fry it on the grill. I like that. What's in that? I think there's bro yeah, there's broccoli in that. Uh, You're not a, not, a, not a broccoli guy? Nah. There's like some broccoli and some cabbage in there, I think. It's also got like a nice peppery, peppery flavor to it. Yeah, what's really standing out, obviously, is the, uh... I love broccoli, but, you know what I'm saying? It's a man-made... It's a man-made uh, vegetable, but, you know, it's still good. Yes, it is a man-made vegetable. You cannot tell me where, where, where broccoli grows naturally. It's a lab-made vegetable. I don't know if a lot of y'all knew that, but it is. The fried toast, but the sausage is really great. Both the sausage and the... And the You've and never seen a broccoli plant. Stop it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, black pudding are really good. Yeah, I do like the bacon the most. Going, going for another mega bite. Oh man, I'm like... Woo. Like I'm tired, but I don't want to stop eating. This I is know. so good. <laughs> what, am I, what am I doing here? <laughs> I haven't had fried bread in ages. My grandma used to make it when I was a kid, and I feel like that's probably why I was quite a fat kid. Yeah. Out of all the places we've eaten at, 
this is definitely the one where everything works together in every combination. Yep. I haven't felt like anything has like stood out as uh, on its own. Right. Um, but I think it's because if you do a delivery system of this fried bread, mm -hmm. it's like you can't go wrong. Oh my no, I don't want that. Oh, <laughs> that, looks, that looks really good. Yeah. I thought they were bringing us more food. It was like, hell no. <laughs> what do you think is the perfect bite here? Like, what are the combinations that are really sticking uh, out to you? Like, cut off a little, like, triangle of fried bread. Yep. Little, little slice of sausage. Uh-huh. Little slice of bacon. Because yep. the toast is, like, unfairly good. Yeah. I'm going to go potatoes, beans, okay. bacon. Which, which, which potato? We have multiple. Oh, uh, the, uh, the, 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 the hash brown one. Okay. L and little little gonna, bit of egg. I'm going to sprinkle a couple mushrooms on there. Like, okay. so, all right. Little black pudding. And then dunk that all in the beans for me. Mm. Oh. Mm. oh, it's fantastic. That's amazing. That's I loved it. It's good, isn't it? Yeah, it is good. I don't think it's going to be fried, but I always tell people, especially like when I get, I get a lot of Americans and people come from all over the world, and a lot of them go for the toast. And you're, are you just like so uh, covering in, in oil and then throwing on the frying pan and just flipping it like that? How are you doing it? Deep fried. Deep fried the bread. But it's, oh but it's got to be, it's got to be done in nice clean oil. Yes. Like sure. if you do that, we change our oil every day. That's and good. You can tell the difference. But if you do it in yeah. like a, a greasy oil, it's not good. Don't worry, you won't, you're, the heart attack won't happen for another couple of hours till you're well out of the area. Yeah. And then there'll only be a mild heart attack. I might try fried bread today. Oh man, it's raining. <laughs> Absolved. You look fit and everything. Yeah, but it's a healthy guy. It's probably saying something, but this is our third full English of the day, and we're still like devouring it. Yeah, it's pretty ridiculous. That's, I gotta slow down here. That's a that's a compliment. <laughs> Holy crap, man! Yeah, English breakfast for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I'm ready to I'm ready to sleep for two days. Yeah. I don't know how anyone can eat like this and then be like, time to go to work. Man, bro, my birthday is in 26 days. If I can get to England in 26 days, that'd be amazing. <laughs> if I can get to the UK, I'm sorry, the UK as a whole in 26 days. British people are just built different, clearly. So I think we are starting to hit the wall with this. So let's do a quick recap. What are some elements of this that have worked for you? For the black pudding and all the ones we had. Might be my favorite. Edge it out a little bit more. Fantastic job on the bacon. Uh, two potatoes is uh, pretty bold. The bend and squeak, or whatever this is called. The bubble and pot. Bend and squeak. Like, what are you? You been watching the hub, my boy. Bend and squeak? Hold on now. Bubble and squeak. There you go. Got it. Yeah, I mean, I'm just like, but it might be over bubble and squeak. This was good, but after one bite, it's like, I get it. You're all, but, bubble, you're all bubbled out. But the, the actual hash brown is very good. Yeah. The bacon is really good also. It's just a little bit more crispy than what we've had before. Yeah. Enjoyed that a lot. The fried bread is... It, come on. I yeah. could eat that forever. I would die really fast, but it would be... Yeah, pretty, forever would be about eight years. Yeah, less than that. Yeah. But a pretty tasty way to go out. Yeah, overall, really good experience. You just told me, not only are we Chicago Bears fans, uh -huh. but you're, a, you're an Italian Italian Yeah, I'm very Italian. Well. Yeah, I'm very Italian. Yeah. Well, is he from Chicago? Yeah. <laughs> is he from Chicago? Bella. Oh, Bella. Oh, Bella. Good Where are you from in Italy? I have no idea. That's all right, you're Italian. That's all that matters. All right. Thanks, buddy. I'm calling Jonah. I'm calling Giuseppe. Giuseppe, yeah. <laughs> All right, well, we've had three, I think, fantastic breakfasts. Uh, we need to go and pick our favorite. Maybe a little bit loud in here so we can go somewhere else and uh, make a decision. Okay, sound good? I'm ready. This is going to be the favorite. Here you go, let's go. Ellie. From the outside looking in, this looked like the best option. And I ain't even there. What is this movie? Like, why do they make... You know what? Let me just get out of here. We tried all the breakfasts. We're going to a quiet spot down the road where we can make our final decision over a pint. Bit loud in there? It was the road where we can make our final decision over a pint. <laughs> Y'all glasses actually got the measurement of a half liter on there? That's crazy. Bit loud in there? It was quite loud in there. Yeah. Cheers, Joe. Hey. I'd say it's a uh, successful day of eating full English breakfast. Yeah, I'm so full. I'm in pain. Why, I'm why did you make me do this? <laughs> Early start, a lot of food. But yeah, that's like almost 3,000 calories in one day. That's for two days on but Yeah, very, very good food. Three amazing breakfasts from three amazing breakfasts places. Uh, Terry's, I really like the blood sausage. Mm. Of all the bubbles and squeaks, they had the least 
bubbliest and, and squeakiest. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I did like the environment because it was a little quieter and I liked like the, the chill kind of throwback atmosphere in there. Big portions in Terry's. Yeah, that, Very that was a lot. I don't want to take any points off of Maria's, but I did not like the sitting outside. Maybe the best sausage we've had mm. today. Yep. The, the potatoes were like crispier. You didn't like those mushrooms, right? No, I thought the mushrooms were a little undercooked, a little mm. bit on the slimier side. And their um, beans were different than the ones from the first place. Like their beans were sweeter. Yeah, pretty sweet beans and probably the smallest portions that we had today as well. Yeah, like, uh, I really love Fuji cheese. Mm -hmm. uh, the environment, volume, a little bit higher than I enjoy, than I am <laughs> accustomed to, I guess. <laughs> but uh, everything worked together. I think that was my favorite black pudding. Mm -hmm. And because putting everything for a bite on the fried bread that we were doing, like add a pile on the bacon and the beans, just made it. Mwah. So You see how he's eating with a fork and knife like that? I cannot do this. My fork and knife etiquette is terrible. I'm bad. <laughs> if you were to return to London, or if someone is visiting London and you have to recommend one spot to go to, which one are you picking? I'm really picking up details here, but if I had to pick one as my favorite, I think I'm gonna go with e cheese. Everything on that plate oh, just really worked together. I think you, you said that yourself, like yeah. everything was just kind of harmonious. Yeah, thank you for repeating what I said. You're so welcome. Yeah. <laughs> Imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. Doesn't feel say. like it. <laughs> <laughs> like it's your own ideas, pal. Man, it doesn't sure. get much more authentic than Ipolici. I agree. So, the best English breakfast. Ipolici, man, I told y'all. I'll be out there, man, hopefully, man. Hit that link tree, man. Check it out, man. Help. <laughs> Tell her, leave a like, comment, I'm gone.